is a day for the Australian history books. We are here in the snowy mountains to see the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable R.G. Menzies, start the power streaming from the Manyang Gothica powerhouse. First unit completed in a mammoth project to provide more power and increased production of food. For almost 70 years we talked about diverting the snowy river inland and making use of the vast annual source of water from the melting snows on the Great Dividing Range. But it wasn't until 1949 that the scheme got the green light and the first surveyors went out. Teams of designers started work. On their drawing boards, they shaped the dams, the tunnels, and the power plants. 17 power stations were to be built, a torrent of power for industry and water for the inland. Plans were completed. Tenders were called and came in from all parts of the world. The first was given in 1951, and a Norwegian contracting firm began blasting the foundations for the Gothiga Dam. Three and a half miles downstream, they started on the Munyang powerhouse. Man and machine combined to reshape the landscape. Three ships worked through day and night, through all seasons, through all weathers. The dam took shape and a drawing board dream became a concrete reality. Last, the Gothiga Dam stood astride the bed of the river. Downstream at the powerhouse, the turbines were assembled, the circuits completed. But before the power lines could be loaded, the plant had to be tested. And so on the eve of the official opening ceremony, tension mounted as the test began.
Everything went according to plan, and the weird powerhouse symphony died away. But today, it will start up again when the Prime Minister turns the switch. This is a very dramatic and exciting occasion because we are here today looking at the first fruits of a scheme which represents one of the great efforts of cooperation in the history of Australia. But I've been told that I'm to move a switch here and as usual when I move a switch nothing happens for a little while. It takes apparently a couple of minutes for the turbines to warm up to their work. And so I shall move the switch and then we'll wait to see whether it really is beginning. Australia needs power power to increase our production, the power to improve our living standards, and the Snowy has already started to supply it. Now that their part of the job is over, the Norwegians can celebrate. This is only a stage in the whole vast scheme. Fresh teams go out to face other challenges. It will take 25 years to complete the scheme and contractors from Australia and overseas are now at work over an area of almost 3,000 square miles. As the dams rise and water fills the valleys, the full benefits of the snowy scheme will be felt beyond this horizon and this generation. <laughs> 